the sounds of Urban X. So, uh, again, conspiracy theorists are up another 50 points right now. Another 50 points. Right, so it was... The game ain't even close. Yeah, it's actually getting kind of... It's getting, getting kind of spooky now. So, apparently, there was a government-funded... Uh, there's a government-funded research that, uh, you know, was happening where researchers sought, sought out aborted uh, minorities for organ harvesting. Okay. And I remember, you know, hearing about this years ago, and it's sounding very, very far-fetched. But... Come to find out, it's true. Uh, the federal government, this is according to uh, the Washington Free Beacon, the federal government, fund, uh, federal government gave at least $2.7 million in taxpayer money to researchers who sought out minority babies who had been aborted in order to harvest their organs in court. And this is according to internal documents that were released last Tuesday. The University of Pittsburgh targeted minorities in its request for infant organs, including those taken from full-term babies, to create a pipeline for mm. fetal research. Researchers said that they needed 50% of the donated fetuses to be minorities and, specific, and specified that 25% must come from black women. The Pittsburgh uh, metropolitan area is 85% white and 8% black. Uh, researchers stressed the importance of maintaining organ blood flow uh, in the request, which watchdogs say could violate the federal law by making by asking donated doctors to illegally preserve organs during labor-inducing abortions. End quote. That's in the article. Okay, th that's that's a, some shit out of a horror movie. Yes, it is. It's something out of a horror movie for a number of reasons. The number of babies aborted by black people is ridiculous. It just is, right? And under the guise a lot of time that it's your choice, it's your body, it's your choice. And I don't want to go through all the political stuff. Mm -hmm. When we do that under the guise that it's my body, my choice, somebody wins. So for every loss, uh, a spiritual body that could have been here, that could have been of Christ energy, mm -hmm. right? They gain blood and parts that they need probably because they're a hybrid race right. trying to make themselves or prepare themselves for the next paradigm shift. Now, as bizarre as that sounded 15, 20 years ago. I posted the article in the chat for you guys. Right. As bizarre as that sounded 15 to 20 years ago when my elders taught me mm -hmm. that, they also told me and taught me that what white men would do... <clears throat> is put their babies in black women deliberately uh, in hopes of that the baby would be a, a neutronoid or mm -hmm. gray, or whatever you want to call it, uh, a mixed race, mm -hmm. in hopes that they could preserve the genetics to reverse that process once we made a paradigm shift into a realm of reality in which they normally wouldn't exist, if that makes any sense. Okay. So as we ascend into fifth dimension consciousness, you have to be a melanated being to exist there. You have to have a soul mm -hmm. and a spirit, you know what I mean? And if they don't if they are technically void of that, right? Right. But their seed has that, the seed is becomes the gateway. And if they can reverse that engineering, sort of like what Yakub did, it's a long story. You know, uh J Electronica goes in oh, on Yakub yes, yes. on the uh the Kanye West song. We'll yes. talk about that in a few. So, as bizarre as what I just said, that should sound bizarre. Yes. Some shit out of a movie. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Very I just science told you, fiction y. Yeah. yeah, I just told you the conspiracy theorists are up. That piece about the babies was taught to me 20 years ago. Yeah. Well, and it sounded bizarre then. It actually, you know, it's crazy because uh, people were sharing clips of a lot of conscious, uh, you know, a lot of conscious community, like people like saying these things years ago. Even they even had um, uh, clips of Alex Jones saying that on the Joe Rogan podcast. And yes. And people, like, guys looking at him like, yo, like, what are you talking about? And yes. he got banned. Yo, it, it, they could make a list of all the stuff he got banned off of line of YouTube for. And t to now what's come out as actually true. Yes. Nuts. Nuts. Him and Jesse Ventura. Yes. Jesse Ventura was yes. on that, too. So we know and understand uh, uh, we 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 uh, get rid of a lot of babies, and sometimes just out of lack of knowledge, mm. lack of, I, I don't want to deal with this. And but it's benefiting. It's almost a food source 
for somebody else. So you have to be careful because you go into these Planned Parenthood centers and you think they're there to give you the best advice, which would be counseling. And counseling, a like full-fledged counseling, you may walk out of that sense like, you know what, I'm going to keep my baby, I'm going to work this out. I'm sure, listen, my moms and dad did the nasty at 15. That's how I got here. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so glad they did. Yeah, yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. and you should be glad too. I am glad. All Thank right? you. Thank you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you should be glad me and your moms oh. did the nasty. Oh, Jesus. You asked her about me. I'm legend, nigga. Jesus Christ. Nah, she'll be like, Hold <laughs> I can already see her now. Lil, Lil Wayne? You talking about Lil? She's probably watching right now. Yeah, she's talking about Lil Weezy. You talking Lil Weezy? Uh, Lil Wayne? <laughs> Jesus. She probably laughing her ass off. But you have to be glad. Mm -hmm. So we all got here. Right. We all should be thankful. When people are mad at their parents... I, I, it, it baffles me unless your parents were very abusive to mm -hmm. you. If they're not and they weren't at the best condition because they were going through their own trials and tribulations, but you had food in your stomach and a roof over your head, the rest is on you. How many times do you see them birds? <laughs> there they go. You better fly. <laughs> yeah. They give them about two or three chances. The yeah. mother bird take them to the edge and they push their ass off yeah. and that's it. Or the cub. You, I'm, I'm going to show you how to hunt one time. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to attack this deer, and we're going to eat and celebrate. Then you on your own. If right. you fall too behind, how many times has the one penguin fell behind the bunch? Yeah. And they just leave them. They don't yeah. have time for that shit. We're the only ones who will let our children stay at our house until they're 45 years old. And leave them alone. He's trying to get a job. We're the only people who do this. Yeah, I think... Um, a lot of what harms us as a people is always guised in some political freedom. Like when it comes, like feminism is one thing that I can come off the top of my head when it comes to how that's like the destruction of like our family, our structure, our morals is masked in, especially the first couple waves of feminism where it's just yes. like free for all, don't have to, you know. Like, who who wants to get married? Who wants to have kids? Who wants to do any of that stuff? Right. And it's masked into feminism and... Right, like, that's not freedom to me. That's holding me back. When you don't understand, the mother of civilization is the nurturer of all things. So that is a natural thing that mothers embrace. Mm -hmm. So, but when you listen to these feminists tell you, you don't need no kids, you don't need no man, you don't need none of that. Just go out and do you, girl. And if that's where you are and that's where you at in your life, that's great. Somebody mentioned Margaret Sanger, who started, who started the Planned Parenthood. Planned Parenthood. Mm -hmm. That was her plan all along. Mm -hmm. She clearly stated, we have to stop the rise mm -hmm. and, you know, do eugenics and all of this of, you know, their seed being a dominant seed. So you are seeing this now and all of the horrific things that were done are coming out. And we told you we're in the age of information. You're going to have to be able to deal with this truth as it comes out on a daily basis. So... This is the only thing that kind of like, kind of like cracks me is obviously they own all the news stations, right? The, the mainstream news is CNN, MSNBC, Fox. Like the the news that comes isn't just you just came across our, just came across. We have to report it. It's filtered. It's gone through who it'll like compromise it. Who who it'll compromise and stuff like that before it gets out. So some of this stuff is very damning. Mm hmm. What is supposed to come of it now it's out, especially like that it can really like do harm to some of these big names? Well, in, in my humble opinion, Malcolm, it's because most of us, we can't disseminate truth from falsehood no more. Okay. They have created the perfect illusion where you could see a UFO. You could literally see an unidentified flying object yeah. and you have to filter it through is it Project Blue Beam? Mm. Uh, am I seeing what I think I'm seeing? Am I high? Did right. I take those mushrooms? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you have to yeah. run it through so many filters, especially if you see it on somebody's YouTube channel. Right. How many people tell me this is a real yeah, yeah. UFO? And I go, all right, let me go in. Yeah. And I'd be like, <laughs> yeah. you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So when truth now comes to us, and I think that's all by design, we question it. 
and they could be sitting right in your face because they have a an agreement with the universe. Mm. They have to tell the truth. It doesn't say how they got to mm. tell the truth. So as long as they present it, you know, because I'm hearing damning information all day long about Fauci and this one. Right, and, and it's that just one, like, yo. And it's not moving the meter as much as you think. That's we are too. supposed to be fully enraged That's at what's too. coming out on a daily basis, but we, we dead. CNN.